Welcome to Camforce. This video will show you how to use lead in lead out for Cordo toolpath in the master cam. After opening the model, choose meshing followed by mill and the default. From the properties, click the stock setup and select the bounding box option. Select the entire solid by dragging and confirm. Stock dimensions are taken properly. Now we'll go to contour toolpath. Ensure the solid selection is on and enable the loop selection method. I have selected this loop for machining. Tool parameter. Select tool from the library. I do filter for LC selection of tool. Select only the end mill now. Pick the tool 12 end mill. Spindle speed feed and the plunge rate ensure the cut parameters in the common section left and roller and the cutter is none enabling the depth of cuts roughing cuts i gave here 2.5 millimeters finally the linking parameters clearance is the escape set plane value between multiple counters set it as 50 Retract is the escape set plane value within the same counter. Set it 15 or 10. Feed plane is the set plane. The tool can come with rapid move. I set it as 1 mm. And stock starting from 0. The profile requires 10 mm deep. That's it. Click OK. Now the tool parts are created successfully. Let us backboard it. Here you can observe the tool plunges on the corner for every depth of cuts. This will cause more axial load for the tool and the higher tool wear. To avoid this, we recommend to use lead in and lead out option. Here we use tangent ND at the corner method. Go to the parameter once again, click on the tab lead in out, enable it and switch on the entry, select the tangent, choose the length. I have gave here 80% of tool diameter that is 9.6 millimeters. Copy the same on exit, that's it. Then regenerate the tool path. Now we can observe the tangent entry of 9.6 on the entry and the same on the exit. But we could also see the tool is lifting each time for taking the depth of cuts. We can fix this by enabling the keep tool down option from the depth of cut steps. Now the tool is kept down. We can also increase the plunge rate since plunges are taken outside the workpiece. Perpendicular entry at the midpoint. For this, I gonna enable entry on the midpoint and switch this to tangent and copy the same on exit. That's it. Now we can observe the perpendicular entry on the midpoint of the geometry. For this method, also we can enable the overlap. This tab you can enable overlap as 3 millimeters, and you can see now between the lead in and lead out there will be an overlap of 3 millimeters. Here the last method that is tangent entry at the midpoint with a radius. For that, I am gonna switch over here tangent and add the radius. I'm gonna use here 60% of tool diameter and the sweep angle for the radius is 70 degrees. I'm gonna copy same thing to exit and keep the overlap as 3 millimeters. Now we can see the radial entry with a sweep angle. 
is taken place and also the overlap in between the lead in and the lead out is the most common method used in the industries. Now we'll show you the adjustment of this lead in lead out position. Go to geometries, right click on the chain and click on edit. Here we can adjust your start point of condo and regenerate the program. You can see the lead in lead out is taken place on the midpoint based on your geometries. That's all for this session. The model file is available on the description. All of you can download and practice the same. Happy learning. Bye.